So once you have your 3D sketch inserted into the assembly, um, I just noticed that we have to add a couple of other things here. So let's go back to our 3D sketch. Um, before we do that, I'm going to do a plane off of the center point here to get us our midpoint. We're going to call this negative 10. So that'll be actually this distance. So if we go back in, I'm going to drag that above. So I'm going to delete this. I'm going to use this command, which is the on face. So I'm going to choose this point to be on that face. So I'm going to take then another line from, let's say, here. And we're going to come over and call that one on this face. And then again, line from up here and call that one that face as well. So now all of those points are aligned so we can finish our sketch and turn that off. Come back to our chair, update it so now we have all that. And then now we can get into our design. Insert our frame. So I'll ask for orientation. We're going to have our pipe. It's a one inch steel. So you can change all that around if you want. But we go through and do our run. So that we can go back through, review it, make sure we didn't miss anything. Usually it comes up lit. There we go. So hit OK, and then it'll go through, and then it'll build all your segments. So now that you have them, well, let's assemble the mirror. There we go. Choose our mirror plane. And this is reuse or mirror. Um, it's not really adaptive sometimes, so you got to figure that out. Um, but there you go. So there's your crazy chair. Um, obviously, you can move some of these things in. So if you wanted that to be on a different plane, you'd have to plan for that. Um, but that's kind of what you're looking for. So I uh, hope that helps. And if you, uh, you know, get a little farther, go ahead and post what you got. And uh, maybe we can help you out a little bit more.